Hello there. It's been a few weeks since I've been out and about in the fells. So to ease myself back into it gently, I'm uh, going to be walking around Tallside Reservoir today. Nice easy route, maybe eight, nine kilometres, a couple of hours through the countryside, through the beautiful Peak District. And uh, today, well, got my camera with me. So I think I just said it's going to be about two hours, probably about three actually, because I'm going to try and learn how to use this thing and uh, try to take some better photographs. I want to try to learn how to use this camera properly so I can take some much, much better photographs when I'm out on my walks. Although, a little bit weighty, perhaps it's going to help test my fitness with uh, having an extra kilogram in my rucksack. Is it makes me look a bit silly. Never mind. Not much to report back at the moment. It's not been a very eventful walk, uh, but perhaps that's the best way. We don't want too many bad things happening. Well, we don't want any bad things happening. Yeah, anyway rather than me ramble on a bit, let's uh, focus. So, as I said earlier, the point of today's walk is to get out again after a few weeks of, uh, after a few weeks of being at, uh, being at home and not having the opportunity to, to get out and do some good walks. So um, that's why I've decided on a, a reservoir walk today and uh, this will be quite a short video, I suspect. Today's soundtrack is brought to you courtesy of the A628, which is just up there to my right. Plenty of cars today, people uh, driving around in the Peak District. <laughs> At this time, it's about 10 o'clock. We might struggle to find a car parking spot because the couple I've passed so far have been chock-a-block. So, uh, top tip, if you want to do an awesome walk, start early get a decent car parking spot in a decent car park nice and early I was hoping to take some nice uh, reflective shots in Tallside Reservoir today with my with my Canon EOS 1300D and um, well as you can see that ain't happened today is it there's always another day so uh, yeah, let's look forward to that in the future. You know, being out and about is about getting away from the stresses and strains of everyday life. But um, it's not often that Games Workshop release uh, a Forest Heresy box set. So um, I'm just taking a break and it's my turn to go into the website and order it. Hey hey, lucky me, not spend all my money. One of the reasons I've uh, got back into the fells is to try and get myself a, a little bit fitter and also perhaps shed a few of the, uh, the excess grams that I've accumulated um, since leaving the army over 10 years ago. So, um, not a dietitian, so uh, don't take my advice, but I'm, I've lost a bit of weight so far by going on a, uh, a low carb diet. However, when I'm out and about, I think they need a little bit of a boost. That low carb goes out the window. Full of sugar, full of carbs, but oh, it is so nice. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you're not here to see me uh, stuffing my fat face full of Kendall mint cake, so I'm uh, gonna go and do that just now. 
My, uh, my background from my professional life is uh, an environmental health officer and uh, one of the aspects of being an environmental health officer is to look at food safety and uh, I'm not so sure I should be admitting this here but after eating most of my lovely Kendall mint cake chocolate covered of course I had a quick look at the wrapper and um, well I've noticed that um, I'm eating it after the best before date so eating something after the best before date is that going to kill me no but you didn't come onto this video to have a talk about food safety did you well for those who don't know in the uk best before is about food quality there's no real legal um requirements for best before it's it's not from a food safety issue from a food safety issue it's the use by date you should be concerned of don't eat anything after the use by date um, best before yeah it's fine and it's kendall mint cake what could possibly have gone wrong with it well it's after the best before date and uh, a couple of months but it's still yummy so um yeah but ignore my advice because what do i know i've lugged this uh, heavy camera tripod around for six or seven kilometers so far and um camera operators smirking in the background because actually they're the ones that lug the uh, tripod around but hey never mind we've lugged this around in the hope that get to the dam here between Torside and Rosewood Reservoirs to take some awesome photos of the beautiful scenery around here reflecting into the smooth surface of the lake reservoir rather um, but as you can possibly see that it whoa whoa <laughs> That ain't happening today, is it? Right, I, uh, I best go and sort myself out. Just coming to the uh, near the end of uh, today's walk around Torside Reservoir, and I'm now following the Trans Pennine Trail that uh, goes along the, the south. Um, Trans Pennine Trail, it's uh, it's actually behind me a few miles, about seven or eight. Um, goes past well, within about 50 meters of my uh, of my house so um, maybe one day I can just leave my front door get on the Trans Pennine Trail and uh, wander its length I don't know how long it is though so uh, maybe as I'm editing this I will put the uh, put the distance on the um, on a card on the screen so thank you very much for joining me for this what I suspect will be quite a short video and um, yeah see you again soon and hopefully hopefully it'll be a little bit more adventurous walks than I'll be doing because at the other side you see behind me my plans are to go up there again over the next few weeks Thank you very much for watching, really appreciate it.